tell you a story right now that's going to save you time, money, and a lot of energy and a lot of heartache and <clears throat> might even save your marriage. <laughs> My goal today is to share with you something easy to keep your power going. We're not talking about power stations. We're not talking about big DIY setups. We're not talking about off grid and, and these big projects. We're talking about an emergency situation. You need power, you need it quickly, and all the generators are sold out. So we're gonna get things running again using the inverter and the battery. Welcome to the Adventure Tech channel. We focus on cost-effective, high-quality solutions to a more comfortable and affordable lifestyle using the most advanced and current technologies available, including solar power, portable power generators, electric electric vehicles and more. Technology is moving really quickly these days so it's easy to be left behind. I'm going to help make things easy for you. I'll do the research so you don't have to. But why should you trust me? Well, I spent over 10 years traveling around the United States as an industrial and environmental inspector using advanced technology like ultrasound and electromagnets to literally see through and inspect machinery. As an inspector, I've experienced with nearly every component you'll find in these places. I've spent time hundreds of feet high hanging off of towers, taking thickness readings, crawling through eight inch wide manways into dryer cans that make paper, and even spent time inside tanks that hold the most dangerous chemicals known to man, requiring full oxygen even near the entrance to these tanks. Plus, I've driven days straight across the country and know all about what works and what doesn't on the road in an off-grid situation. Now I'm happy to share what I've learned and my experiences with you. So let me tell you a quick story, something that happened to me and what opened my eyes to my situation and, and getting more freedom and security uh, being a huge priority in my life. Kind of young at the time in my early 20s and me and my fiance had left our hometown all by ourselves. We wouldn't have help from any family or anything like that. And once we moved into our new place, we got everything put in our name, the power and everything. And within one to two days, we woke up to no power. It's not like we were laid under a bill. It had only been two days. So when we went outside, we saw a little notice hanging on our front door and it said, your power has been turned off, call this number. It may take up to 48 hours to get it turned back on. Given that it was December when we moved in, it was cold, there was snow on the ground. Couldn't believe that they did this. I called them up and said, what is the deal? I spoke to you guys weeks ago. I sent you in my lease. The power had already been turned on. And after one day of being at the property, you turned off my power. So what is going on? Apparently, even though I had signed the lease, my landlord had also signed the lease. My fiance, who happened to be mentioned in the lease, she didn't sign the lease. So they just wouldn't turn on the power there. And they weren't kidding when they said it could take up to 48 hours. But they kind of stretched the truth because they didn't come back, turn on my power for over nine days. Once I found out there was issues with the lease, I faxed that over to them right away. Still took them over a week in the middle of the winter time. Now I'm telling you this story because that wasn't supposed to happen. If you call the power company, they'll say, we never do that, we never do that. And if it does get turned off, we'll get it turned back on within 48 hours. Don't worry about what people say, take care of yourself. I learned that that is important if you wanna survive and not only survive, but live a life worth living, you're gonna to need to get ahead of things. You're gonna to need to kind of go up above over people's heads because you cannot rely on people to take care of you. So in situations like that, I thought, what could I have done? I was lucky to have a wood stove and I was heating water on the wood stove. Basically, we were taking cold showers because there's only so much water you can heat up on a pan on the top of a small wood stove. Uh, generally, I keep my personal stories to myself, but I do wanna share this experience because this was terrible to go through. There weren't portable power stations around, but there were batteries, there were inverters. That's all you need. I could have went right out to Walmart, bought a car battery or a marine battery for a boat, an RV battery. I could have bought any of those things for 50 to to $100, spent another 50 to to 100, 200 bucks, something on a nice inverter or even less, and I would have had power at my house. I could have hooked that to my heater, definitely could have ran my heater for a long time especially if i only hooked it to my heater it would have ran that heater for so long i wouldn't have had issues with heat i could have hooked it to my refrigerator yada 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 if the uh, inverter was big enough as i study this more and more it's bringing up those times when when i wish i knew this sooner <laughs> you know i'm gonna be like your grandpa and tell you a story right now that's gonna save you time money and a lot of energy and a lot of heartache and <clears throat> might even save your marriage. <laughs> My goal today is to share with you something easy to keep your power going. We're not talking about power stations. We're not talking about big DIY setups. 
We're not talking about off-grid and, and these big projects. We're talking about an emergency situation. You need power, you need it quickly, and all the generators are sold out. Maybe you can't get any fuel right now, but there's plenty of car batteries and there's plenty of inverters over there in the auto section. So we're gonna get things running again using the inverter and the battery. Perfect timing. I'm speaking with this brand called Litime. They have these great iron lithium phosphate batteries. So you spend about a thousand dollars on a portable power station, try to get everything running again, or you can get one of these for about $250 and then come over here and buy yourself an inverter. You can pick which inverter you need. If you're only running small things, you know, get a 700 watt inverter. And look at the price of the inverters. They're only $263. Now, if I knew when my power went out, all I needed to do was pick up this. And to be honest, all I really needed to pick up was like this. This probably would power what I needed. And it does take a little bit of electrical know-how from here on out, uh, but most things you can plug right into these and you are all set to go. $26, so a couple hundred dollars you'd be all set. People are out here spending thousands of dollars on generators during an emergency situation. They sell out at all the stores locally. Everything sells out. You can go there and there's just nothing there to pick up. Everyone's worried, but there's plenty of batteries and there's plenty of inverters sitting right there on the shelf. And if you think ahead of time, you could order something like these inverters here, get yourself one of these batteries at least as a backup. Now you're looking at just a couple hundred dollars and it actually has a good amount of power. It's not like you're spending a couple hundred dollars and getting a 250 watt hour portable power station with 200 watts. We're talking about a couple hundred dollars getting you reasonable wattage and a really reasonable amount of power storage. We'll be sitting there with our lights on when they come back to turn everything on. So thank you for taking a minute to check out the video. The sponsor of the video is Litime, uh, litime.com. They have this battery that they sent me that's gonna be my little lifeline. And also they have all these different batteries. They got the big setups, they got small inverters, big inverters. If you're here to spend a couple hundred dollars or if you're here to get your house set up, everything you need. So thank you Litime for sending your battery to me and letting me share this technology with my viewers. And thank you viewers for letting me share my story with you because I'll tell you, it was so terrible on that phone call to learn that they're not turning my power on for a week or two in the middle of the winter time when I have two dogs, a fiance, and a situation going on. <laughs> I really hope this does help. And if it does, if you guys learned something, you know, give the video a like, drop a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click the bell icon, because that makes it so you'll actually see my new videos when they come out. You'll be able to, you know, save money and, and solve your problems quickly as possible. Help prevent some heartache in your life. So thank you, everybody. And we will see you next time.